Sierra Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta, Shield. What is up you guys, welcome back to another edition of WWE Supercard, I'm your host, Aaron Mitchell, and yesterday I did do an episode where I claimed my 11,500 game Diva Ladder Award, which was a Legendary Eve, as you can see I've got an epic page, that is because I had her from, uh, where did I page from? I said I had her from my ep my legendary king ring yesterday, which I got quad bumped again because I woke up late again. <laughs> so I got Paige. So I wasn't too annoyed because, as I've said before, Paige is one of my favorite. Paige is probably my favorite diva at the moment. And yeah, and I did do a as I said I did do a recording, but it cut and but I didn't cut. I finished the recording, said goodbye and that, and signed off, and then it wouldn't work. Good luck. Yeah, I say good luck, everyone. I'll say, say hi to YouTube. I think I might have done a shout out the day before, but it's going to be a shout out Saturday to my team. And I got a few other people to shout out as well. I see a few members. Shout out to Sunny D who has got Finn Balor. Congratulations, Sunny. He's got that's a great card. <laughs> I really want Sunny. Uh, I really want them Finn Balor. Sunny's deck is can is improving all the time. He's got two survivors, Bret Hart and Finn Balor, and then his divas, Brie Balor, great team. And then next up is Altan, who's got. Again, two survivors, survivor Bret Hart and the survivor Diamond Dallas Page. And then he's got a legendary pro Naomi, great, great deck. And so, then go and check out Sunny D's channel. I always forget to say about checking out the YouTuber's channels. Go and check out Sunny D's channel. He has consistently, consistently uploads. Unless this is good enough reason. And he consistently produces great, great content. And next up, another YouTuber, Chris Cloud, Chris Pintado. Again, go and check him out. And also, he does great, um, Custom cards. I'll show you one once you did for my um creator created wrestler for W two K sixteen. But first, I finish the shoutouts. And he's got legendary goddess, legendary Ryback, and uh, Ultra Eve. Um, his divas probably like holding back a bit, but he sh he'll be getting good divas in no time I can tell. And next up is Dcast three sixteen, who's got a legendary pro Cameron, Survivor Cesaro, and Epic Roman Reigns, and he should be. Getting out the uh, survivor Finn Balor. Next up is Rain, who has got legendary pro ultimate warrior, legendary triple H, and an epic rebellion. The only thing holding Rain back is his divas, unfortunately for him. But uh, as I said, like um, Crispy, he'll get good divas in no time. Next up is Renato, who has got le um, legendary Sheamus, legendary Ryback pros, and then legendary Nikki. Nikki's probably holding him back a bit as well until he gets a pro. Next up is Tristan H. And also go and check out Dcastry16 and Rain, aka Constance White. He dig, just like Crispy and Sunny D, consistently upload and consistently put out great, great content. Next up is Trist Tristan H. I don't think I showed his deck. He's got a Survivor DDP, Diamond Dash page, and Legendary Pro Stardust. And he's got a Legendary Eve. Eve's probably holding him back a bit as well until he gets a pro. Then next up is WWE fan whose deck is Epic Time Brian, Epic Kane, and Ultra Cameron. His only thing really is low point is his divas, but like some other people, he'll get good divas very very soon. And finally, WWE NBA NBA level has got Epic Pro Brock, Epic Pro Dean, and Legendary Page. I'm not going to win, but Legendary Page because in the offense, then it gives us a chance. Yeah, it gives us a chance to. Um, use it, and now I'm going to show you the custom card, um, crispy card Chris Pintado did for me. I might create the superstar, and let's see my finishes. That's what it looks like, and those are pro stats. Don't know if that's a silver GoPro, I can't tell. 
but my, um, pro my proc finisher thing is black magic that you just like a random named finisher it's uh, if you've played w2k16 and if you have got the cast the new moves pack it's a move from the new moves pack from the downloadable moves pack that i actually pretty like but yeah i got as my finisher along with the coup de gras but my first custom card he did for me i had the coup de gras so i felt like having something different So I probably put out my Twitter picture there. Um, I probably leave the one I bought my survey picture for now because I ain't long had it. I said thought I enjoyed it, but I lost it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to qualify in this King of Ring. I'm currently one game back. And um, yeah, did I energize? Yeah, I did. Let's see how he beat me. My so I that does I'll beat this Dean Ambrose, then his ah oh, it's Roman Proct. Then yeah, he would have won that. It doesn't matter that one. If Roman Proct I probably would have won. Maybe if I put my hand down for one. And let's go on to Ring Domination, I am on the legendary Seth Rollins card. From four pieces in this game, in this match, I will definitely get another shadow reel because I've got four sh picks um, saved up, so I'll get at least six, maybe even eight. And yes, it was pretty, last night was pretty annoying because I kept forgetting to swap Bray back out for Seamus. So I'll like, I have this one, forget. Do I have this one, forget. Then eventually I remembered. <laughs> Let's get, I'm trying to get him with Xavier Woods. And with, when I think it was Rock was in my team, or it might have been Shawn Michaels, they kept proking and proking and proking, which was pretty funny because they went, his um, proc went to like 1,200. Brock Lesnar wins for me, that's great, it's 3 2 at the moment. Let's not risk it, let's just put Roman there. Let's check status there. I don't want to risk going for his Rusev when I could have seen the win. Because that's what I do sometimes, try to risk it, go for a win, and then A Brock can beat me. But I'm, I'm just going to try and play, and every time, unless it's not a guaranteed win like my legendary pro Randy, and more Super Reds, probably quite a lot, of, it's been pretty much Super Red domination for me. Pull, um, I just be unless I've got my survivor Randy and uh, my legendary pro Randy or my survivor Cesaro up against epic pros or legendaries and super Randy again. Another super, uh, as I say, unless I have my um, legendary pro Randy or my survivor Cesaro up against epic pros or legendaries, then I won't go for it because I do have quite a lot of the epic pros against another epic pro, something like Xavier Woods against The Rock, and then. Woods will proc, it'll be speed increase when Woods will proc and will defeat the rock. <laughs> yeah, I just decided to pull two epic, I'm um, not epic, I'm two super res in that one. I keep pulling the super res, let's see, up, down, yeah, let's put right back there because I don't think it's proc that good at the moment. Let's see, it's in the 90s, but it's good enough for that against legendary brave because right back proc, and I'm doing power man, power man speed. So that's great. Let's check rocks just for, uh, for legendary. When uh, uh, Bucket T will defeat my rock. Not because you proc it, but because it's tough. He's had a tough, he was a toughness boost. Now let's take my rock back with Stardust. And then rocks sealed in and cannot be taken. We we'll probably go for right back or brain next. I would think. Yep, we have a uh, survivor. PCC event Jack Swagger. Swagger. Huh. Let's put Brock Lesnar over there. And it looks like I'm going to lose. Three. I'm going to lose if I don't do it. So I may as well just risk it. 
Hopefully it's speed or power and toughness. Oh, it had to be the one stat I had no chance in winning in. It had to be. I had a if it was power, toughness or speed, I would have won because I propped. But it had to be charisma. I sensed something like that was going to happen. Yeah, my aims for legendary self. I don't see myself getting the survivor Finn Balo. The only time I see myself getting the survivor at the moment, unless I reach survivor tier in events. The only time I see myself getting the survivor card is on PCC. But apart from that, legend aim for legendary for me. Uh, Spyback's now being caught. And um, Ryback's been, now been playing for the third successive game. I'm against Mr. Vindictive. Oh, and I was doing shoutouts for the team, and I said I've got a few other shoutouts to do, and I totally forgot where I'm, where I'll do them after I played all my boats. I'll probably just like segue out and then go on to YouTube and do it. Excuse me, but not bone toughness. Ah, oh, he procked. Stupid proc. I can still take him into the rock unless. He... I take Sheamus with Cesaro, and then I locked him right back as well. I would have locked him right back if I went for Stardust with the rock anyway. So I went four three. So I've got to go somewhere, so I've got better chance, probably, chance in the rock, toughness and speed. Yes, I win. That time I don't try to change the left and right arrow. And I had two people, I had to change one of them, so I changed for Brock, so I had a better chance of beating Brock, and I did. So that's good. And I, I hope I can get Seth Rollins legendary because if I'm correct, Rollins in season two and like season one is one of the top survivor, top cards in that year. Because last year with season one, he was one of the poor, poorest cards. He's even worse than Natalia. I only know that because I won my survivor king ring yesterday on season one. And I had Natalia and um, Tamina Snooker, and then when I was going for my cards to tra um, train up my um, Nikki. My second Nikki to probe out. Natty was better than Seth. And they got a legendary probe, Brock. Brock would be a good legendary probe to get because, as I said, with Seth, he's one of the top cards in this tier along with Rock. I'm not too sure. I don't think Cena is as good as he is last year. Especially in Survivor tier. He won't be the best in Survivor tier, I don't think. This challenge is rock. Oh, at, least, at least he went up. At least he could have used his head then, but maybe he didn't know. But go to try to challenge his rock card, and then that would have made me challenge his Brock and lost. But hey, I'm not going to win that one. <laughs> Fight for a close one. Let's see, am I going to get another shot for my last boat? And the other, my epic page I've put on every single page I've got. Put right back in the middle. I'm right back, didn't want to proc that time. Let's challenge him with the great one, the rock. Toughness. Uh, at least he didn't proc. I know Ryback's proc is maxed out, so that's good. And then I'll try, probably try in yeah, I'll try to Randy next. I'll try to Randy with Stardust and then I'll get my right back back with Brock. Let's 
Check to see. I'm currently profit area. Why is he gonna go? Can chance Brock please be power toughness toughness of charisma? Yes, Brock Brock already proc and he procked again. So it's gonna be another victory. I think the one time I lost on camera was the first one, maybe the second, I'm not too sure, but I know I lost at least one, I think. Yeah, I think I've lost what one on camera today, so it's not that bad. Come on, come on with these two chance be here. Uh, find no bit. I I quite like Ring Dom. I know it takes ages and it's ha hard and that because like you can only get the card when you reveal a shard. So you can something I would like. So I need the both of us to decide to do with no credits and I could take longer than Sunny D because it's the lack of finding a shard. Hey guys, sorry about that sudden end to the video. I can't, I totally can't remember what I was saying, <laughs> but the reason why I ended was because I'd run out of, like, it used too much memory and I couldn't do it anymore. But yeah, shout outs on here. I gotta do a shout. I gotta shout Angry the Gaming Boy. He's a uh, good friend of D Brown, and he's a new and upcoming YouTuber. He does black, um, well, not just black, obviously, just Call of Duty video gameplay on PS4. It's great great content. Please go and sub to him if you like watching gameplay of Call of Duty. He has done some GTA as well. Just go and sub to him. He does great great content. Next up is Communist Punk. I ain't been watching Communist Punk for long but I thoroughly enjoy watching his videos. Again go and check him out and give him a sub. Shout out to Devesh CN again. Go and give Devesh CN subs. He needs more subs, he deserves more subs as well, he does great great content, he's coming on 56 go and sub to him, he deserves it next up is Fireproof1983, Tim Shepard, he's a good friend of mine and I, we don't like speak of Z as much when we're in Team Jungle because we, we all used to speak quite a lot to each other in the chat but go and sub to Fireproof, he does great great content and he deserves a lot of subs, he does, he's got great um, his channel is great and he's got great great cards in his team next up is J-Boy shout out to you J-Boy he doesn't do videos I don't think but he doesn't do videos anymore but he um, shout out to you J-Boy and Jake Gala also does he do YouTube videos he does a bit so go and sub to J um, Jake Gala he does some now and again but go and sub to him Next up is Kenneth Knight again. Go and sub to him. He's got great, great content. And also, good luck with your team. Hopefully, your new team is good, Kenneth. Next up, shout out to. Is there anyone else? No, there's no one else. <laughs> so, I've been Aaron Mitchell signing off from Team Jangalang. Peace out.